God, YouTube is shit. Oh, hello again, everyone. I'm Nesbitt, you're the people of Skyrim. Okay, um... We'll get in game. Some housekeeping, folks. Um, we finished the main quest of Skyrim yesterday. Um, uh, this has taken 11 or 10 past streams. The first stream was all about the load order. I uh, just want to check everything's streaming okay. We've got sound okay. Studio's picking up the stream. I'll just open up Skyrim while we're preparing. Um, what was I saying? So we, we completed the main quest in testing for the mob pack, okay? For the people of Skyrim complete. And... Uh, We've had no major issues. There's just one thing I did notice. The Skulldavin dragons uh, seemed to s sit on their perches and didn't activate. So I'm going to... I know TPSC doesn't edit that area, so I need to check that out. Um, so that needs to be done. I've done some editing of the exterior uh, lighting, okay? Um, so we're going to see how that plays out today. Um, and I've got a list of, of small lighting edits and other stuff that I need to do as well. So what I'm saying is, pretty much, we've had no major issues. Just a few things to touch up. And the mod pack's looking pretty good. There is uh, one issue with TPOSC. Some dragons do respawn, the default dragons. I thought I dealt with that years ago, or a long time ago, about six months ago. Not year, about yeah, about six months ago. I thought I dealt with that, but years, but it wasn't years. It was about six months ago. Um, I thought I checked all that, and I'm quite sure the dragons didn't respawn. But a couple, some of them are, so I need to check those out and correct that. Um, so yeah. Okay. So let's see where we are in game. Um, in game, I want to see how this lighting is for this EMB pre preset and mashup that I'm doing. Um, and I've also got some s things I want to point out um, about TPSC as well in relation to the dragon spawns. Okay. Oh, and I just want to say as well, like if you've um, had enough of the dragon spawns at any time, you should be able to load the no dragon spawn patch anytime you want from you know the TPRC downloads and that should disable the added dragon spawns that I add to the game okay Continue. At the Four Shields uh, Tavern, where we left off yesterday. We actually went on and did some of the Enemy of My Enemy quests, but I died and I hadn't saved. So, um, I'm just starting back here uh, in Dragon's Reach. Not Dragon's Reach. Sorry. I'm all over the place. Let's get focused. And there's a bit. Come on. Okay. Fida's teaching me the innkeeper's trade. She runs the four shields. Uh, what time of day is it? Okay, let's just move forward a couple hours at Dragon Bridge. So we've got some light. I've done some editing, so we'll see if in the exterior, so we s we'll see how this uh, is applied all over Skyrim. Okay. And there are some issues I want to bring up. We're going to go and head towards uh, Markarth in a minute, and I'll show you something about the TPRC uh, spawns. That some people, um, you know, come across and don't quite get how that, you know, why they do what they do. But I'll show you that in a sec. I just want to go out here a minute.
what I want to find is a ore vein. I've just uploaded a texture mod. It shouldn't really hurt the playthrough at all. It looks nice. A bit more light on it would be good, but it's a uh, Parallax EMB ore by a new uh, by a mod author, a new mod that was out today. So I just wanted to look at that. It looks nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to go to Markarth now because there's something I want to test up around there. And I know I haven't been to Markarth yet, right? So, um, spreading like mage fire. The great evil has been vanquished. You have truly saved us all. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> Speaking to the guard there, I've saved them all. Okay, so, um, yeah, I want to get to Markarth because I haven't been to Markarth yet. So, there were earlier spawns around TPOS, sorry, MQ 104 of the main quest so that's a quest stage early quest stage where there's about three dragons that are just spawned by the main bridge but i haven't been there um since i finished the Alduin quest so we're also going to pick up some other spawns as well uh later down the line uh which are some elder dragons up round by the main gate so we're gonna have about five dragon spawns in total and um, if you haven't been to an area, you're going to see this is what's going to happen. But it's only a one-off event. Um, but if you're sort of travelling regularly through Skyrim, as you complete the main quest, you'll trigger most of them and, and you won't have... This is nice. You won't have that, that sort of issue. But the most dragons you'll get at any one time is around about five. Unless Skyrim spawns a dragon as well and you might have six. Okay. I'll just see if anyone's joined me today. Let's go on in stream. Okay, let's go back in. And the stream's looking good. Okay. Got any questions, folks? F uh, feel free to ask, all right? But, um, so yeah, we're going to head to Marikarth. I'm going to go, I'm going to fast travel there via the car. And, uh, we'll see what transpires. I'm just, again, being very observant of these edits that I've made. To the exterior lighting. I want to see how everything looks. It was a bit uh, lighter than what I have right now. Um, and oh, and I also changed up some um, graphics card setting settings as well. I realised I'd had some features on that I didn't want on for this for Skyrim. That is. That might have affected performance at some level when I, you know, when I said I felt like the card was struggling or the system was struggling. Might have been because of my settings. So I've got some edits to do to the TPOS file in terms of um, the default dragons. Um, that and that looks a bit better. That feels a bit better to me. This feels a bit better than what I was seeing the other day. What is it? For my personal dragons? taste, that is, of course. Okay, so let's get on up to uh, Markarth. Need a ride? I can take you to any. Where do you want to go? Climb and back. Now we're gonna straight away. We're gonna be stopping off, at, at, obviously, at the um, cart outside the main um, entrance of Markarth. And we're gonna hit. Two, we're gonna have two. We're gonna have this dragon spawn there. And, and that's going to be two Elder Dragons straight away because we finished the Alduin quest line. So, you know, and they spawn around um, Alduin's Bane or just before, uh, somewhere around there. And then when we get down to the bridge, there'll be another spawn of three dragons. And they're uh, lesser dragons uh, from earlier on. But because I haven't been to Markarth, both sets will spawn because, because their questing phases have been completed. All right. So you'll get this in game, and then I'll, we'll go to a white run, um, and I'll show you um, a couple of dragons that have respawned that I noticed, you know, with some testing that I've been doing outside of the of the streams, you know. Um, but yeah, so far, you know, for all the gameplay that we've had, I'm gonna. What time of day is it? Now they're gonna. As soon as I move, this trigger is gonna set off. Um, oh, I'll give you some advice. Don't bother running lods for. Um, Markarth City, there's no point. 
Um, these are the LODs I've done with Dino, Dino LOD 3 for Markarth. And of course, some of that is Markarth Heights, but it doesn't look good. Because um, as many elements of Markarth Heights that Dino LOD um, doesn't produce for. So just forget Markarth. I wouldn't even bother trying to produce LODs for Markarth unless they're just trees. Okay, that's my advice. Let's just go through. I want to see how saturated this sword is. We'll get... To, uh, Let's just get through the data. Of course, it's going to rain on me. Just see if we can bypass some of this rain. Just give it an hour or so. Oh, stuff it again, boy. Okay, so it's going to piss down the rain on me. All right, let's just um, save and let's just hit these dragon spawns. They should cook in. Here we go. So there's your two elders, all right? That's good, he's landed. Up your arse, dragon. Where's the other one gone? Oh, there he is. You're telling me I missed him. Oh, there's a bottle of it. Come on. Oh, I've got Dragon Ren as well. I forget I could use that, couldn't I? But let's just see what he does. You should come on. Let's see what he does. Here we go. Oh, that's on the no, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's just uh, get this so. What are they pointing at? Is there another dragon? Oh, no, he's here. Okay, so that's the two Elder Dragons that I was on about. It's got a spawn, uh, you know, that are released when you um, complete um, Alduin's Bane or around there. Now, if, I'll save that just in case of any surprises. Touch wood, we haven't had any yet, but just in case. And now let's head down to this first spawn that you would have hit if you'd been to the area. Okay, and we've got a three spawn coming up it'd be interesting to see how everything functions here now because we're gonna have a civil war spawn as well okay Let's see if there's any questions hello secret lemonade drinker good morning to you <laughs> yeah. okay right so um let's see what happens here we're gonna have a three spawn and we're gonna have a civil war spawn there's the civil war there's the dragons lovely jubbly okay let's see how it all responds here come on that's it thank you so much let's deal with you that's one that's him where's the others he's landing that's good so everything's responding well i like to see that's good that's good hopefully like i say maybe my nvidia um, graphic card settings were a bit. F oh, he's. Oh, that's the one I previously hit. Where's the other one? There he is. Go on. Ah. Oh. He's gonna land. That's good. Did I hit him? Then? I think I might hit him. I did hit him. Yeah, he's already gone. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so that's good then. So that's the three dragons here done. Um, so, but these dragons here that you see, right? These are gonna probably respawn because they're the. No, they're not. No, they're my dragons. Um. Let me explain what I did in my dragon setups. I, cr I duplicated um, Elder Dragons, Frost Dragons, uh, Blood Dragons, and I gave them no respawn values, and I put them into the world. And then when I upgraded, I used the default dragons of Skyrim. But what I didn't do, I think what I've done is, I thought in my head, I think I you know duplicated them and I actually swear some time ago someone bought this up and I swear I turned them all off not to respawn or, or sorted it so they didn't respawn um, I don't know maybe I didn't maybe I uploaded the wrong file maybe I missed it somehow um, I don't know um, but something I need to check so so my my um, duplicated dragons won't respawn I know that for a fact 
I've got to check these other dragons that I've put into the world because they may respawn. I've got a fe funny feeling they do. Um, and we're going to go to Whiteland now to test that little hypothesis because we've been past um, the Watchtower once. We've killed those dragons and they're going to be there again. So I know it's something I've got to look at. So anyway, I like the saturation levels here. I like the contrast um, levels, even though it's raining. And I know the cube map seems to make it a little bit brighter with the CMB. I don't mind that at all. I don't want it too dark enough to see what I'm doing. Um, so that's okay. Um, I don't mind that at all. In fact, let's just visit Markarth because, you know, this is probably one of my most creative aspects of, of my work, actually, really, in some ways. And it works really well with Markarth. Um, again, I'd forget lods from Markarth, folks. It's shit. I would have to do a lot of work to make that right, and I can't be bothered to be honest with you. It's not worth it. And it's just going to drain resources anyway in the area. So I'm just going to leave that. Um, I'll come out in a sec. We'll just let this play out. Oh, thanks. What are you oh, God, my God, the four spawns. Oh, this is one of my city spawns. Shit, I can't see crap. I forgot about this. Shit, man. Now, where are they? Oh, they're already dead. Oh, well done, guys. Yeah, that was... Ah, right, so we're talking about the force one attack. So this, so that's good. If you time this right, right, um, when this guy kills... When the guy kills uh, Margaret, you know, if you don't come to the city to after the quest, which you're not going to do, it's never going to happen. Actually, it's not at the end of the quest. It's probably... When do they spawn? What level do they spawn? Um... I think it's around the Esben spawn line, something like that. But that fitted in really well with Margaret being killed and the four spawn attack in the city. Now, that is the first attack. There's a second attack. Um, I think it's under... Is it under the main quest headline or is it... I think it might be a Dark Brotherhood quest line. I think I set it when, when you complete the Dark Brotherhood quest line at some stage. Or is it... The Markarth quest line. Either way, there's two independent force one attacks on this city. Okay. Hello, is that Russian? I believe that's Russian. Hi, S. I don't speak Russian. I don't know if you speak English, but hello. Um. Anyway, in we go. Um. So, let's check out Markarth Heights. Okay. Oh, let's first check out and see how the lighting is. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, there's the other... Uh, look, 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 there's the other spawn, look. There it is. There's the second one. And they've just taken care of it. I think that's another one. That's it. We just hit the trigger for that. Okay, so they... You know, there you go. So that's how they function and play out. When you complete quests, those triggers play out. Now, Origin Temple. This runs into the TPS quest in, in the future. It requires key. Okay. We get the key. So this is Markarth Heights. There's a simple little player home over here, folks. If you don't know T plus C, just a simple little vote. All right. There's that one just for you to use. Okay. There's some um, some um, outstanding, and I must say, outstanding poetry. If you're into poetry. <laughs> <laughs> There's some outstanding Dwemer poetry here, folks, all right? <laughs> it's about the diaries of um, Oran, which is part of a questing um, thing to come later down the line. Okay, and these are just um, diaries written by myself. There's a, some poetry in it from a Dwemer of the past, okay? Uh, that You can look at that at your leisure. There was some flickering here, I thought, with the lights, but... Okay, so let's go on up and get the uh, key for um, the temple origin.
And there's lots of little backstories and uh, there are a lot of little backstories in TPSC and TPS2 um, about you know particular individuals from particular races um, all sorts you know um, the Dwemer history and they're all going to link into the future I mean you know it's something I've been working on for a long time it's all set in my head really it's just a case of doing it oh shit what are we doing let's go this way a bit it's just a case of making the quest all the components are there and here here's just another little story you know um you can read all this at your leisure okay it just tells you about centurion man um how and also you learn from these diaries that i just picked up that you see me pick up you learn about um you learn about how Markarth Heights became part of the city, where it was, where it came from. And there's basically, a, you know, quite a simple, easy explanation. There's a concealment spell on the doorways and on the heights itself. Um, I've got to alter that door there, so it just, you know. But uh, we're going to meet Centurion Man now. He's a tough little shit. But I'm just going to take him out, all right? Actually... Let's just oh, get out of the way. This is all nav meshed, actually. Perhaps I shouldn't have nav meshed by the beginning, just so. Um, oh. oh, I'm just going to kill him. Stuff this. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because what I want to do. Get out of the way, you bum. Oh. All right, let's come on. Let's see if he follows me up. He should do, because it's. Or is he going to go back down? Uh, whatever, just as long as he's out my way. Right, okay. Okay. So this is Centurion, man. He seems to be having a head fit at the moment. <laughs> Here we go. And he does move a bit funny because I've resized him. But um, <laughs> but again, I'll work on that for the future. All right. um, let's just take put him out of his misery. Now in Centurion, man, you can find two keys. You can find the Zeneca key and the Markarth Origin key, all right? The Zeneca key is down by the Half Moon. It also has a key near the front door, but if you've picked it up here, so be it. You've picked it up here. Um, and the Origin key is going to get us into the temple in the waterfall, all right? Um, so that's Markarth Heights. Again, just some backstories. Uh, and again, just stuff waiting to be activated for the quest inversion. You can also, you know, forge here, hit Markarth Heights, and, and do whatever you want to do. <laughs> A thief type character, um, hmm, is there? I suppose really no there isn't actually it's something I should do um, I've got a vampire home at, at Ambrosia Hall um, you know I've got a collector's hall Dover horse and there's lots I suppose I suppose there is really I would call that Dover retreat probably a thief like but not optimized for thieves but that's something I should do I'm, and what I could do actually is just link to multiple locations in Skyrim. That would be a nice thing for a thief, I suppose. Um, so this is the middle section of Dover Horse. So yeah, I'll think about that, um, Lemonade Drinker. Th that would be a good idea, really, to have one more focused for thieves. Um, this is the middle section of, of Dover Horse, okay? Not, sorry, Dover Horse. Sorry, Markarth Heights. God, because I'm thinking of Dover Horse. In fact, we'll go to Dover Horse next, actually. We'll do that next because it's nearby. Okay, so that's the middle section. And if you wonder what the, the thinking is behind all these conduits here, these things, they're power units. You know, you've got, an, uh, if you want, you've got like an electrical steam grid in that grating or whatever, you know, just, just to, I would love a 3D model of that uh, grating. So it's, um, you know, more three-dimensional and like it's all connected up one interconnected grid because that's the thinking behind that really. Um, I you know I would love to provide some models for myself, do my own models, 
and sort of link that all up so it you know but you can sort of get the impression if you, of what i'm trying to get at there i guess well i like to th think people can but um let's save now then oh oh and in here right let me just say now we'll go to the silver blood in because we've got jk's silver blood in loaded up but don't use his markarth temple mod for markarth because um oh and what i will do oh, what i will do people is i'll just lighten up the interiors again for the stream all right that's better okay all right so we've lightened up the interiors for the stream so that's JK's. Don't use his temple mod for Markarth because it'll just... He sticks a tower on the outside. And it just fucks up Markarth Heights. And I'm not patching for it. Can't be bothered. Not for that. Um, so anyway. Let's... Uh, again. Let's, let's go to Markarth Heights now. Just save. And I'll just see if there's any questions. Okay, back in we go. Um, we'll get to Markarth Heights now. So, that covers the dragon spawns. I've got some work, just some edits to do for that. Oh, and hopefully we might have the sun come out and the rain might stop. Yeah, that's be nice. Okay, and of course we, the exterior of Markarth is, is, has Lux and Tipo Oh, and there's another house up on the hill there, okay? Um... There's an inn here and a shop, okay, um, which you can explore at your leisure. So you have an, a small inn and another shop, all right, with some interesting items if you've got the coin. There's another home up on the hill here, which really, for me, I mean, if I suppose if I was... Actually, I suppose there is... Well, well I don't know. It depends on how you what you want from a thief home, I guess. I guess you'd have to tell me what it is you want from a thief home. Um, you could say Do um, the House of Cell acts as a good thief home because it has multiple exits and stuff like that. Um, again, it all depends what you're into and what you want from your home. Um, but anyway. So that's the, the key for... Oh, I moved it. No, tell a lie. I think I moved it, didn't I? Did I move it? Or was it? Yeah, I've moved it. The key for the here, the key for this house is here. Okay, it used to be on the uh, archway there, but people had trouble finding it, so you know, I moved it. Okay, let's go to Dover Hawes because here comes another player home. Okay, and the fact that's looking quite nice. I like the light here as it comes over the mountain or starts to set. One of them. And you see the shadow there playing out. Okay, let's get Dover Hall. Another Markarth border. Okay, that looks nice. I like the exterior at the moment. I haven't seen anything I dislike, really. It's colourful, I know, but I like my fantasy preset. You might like something different. And again, the distance lods uh, look nice. They blend with 2020 quite well. So I'm not complaining about that either. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now here you can exp Oh, fuck. There's the Elder Dragon. There's a TPS spawn. That fucked the shit out of me. That was a Oh, I hit him too. Yeah, you take that, you shithead. Oh my god, shit me. They're all, again, because, because I haven't been here, all the spawns have come at once, and that's three of them. I've hit two, for sure, and there's another one. There's one I've hit, there's another, There's the other one I've hit. I've already hit, have I hit him? Well, if I haven't, I have now, so that's two that's been hit. No, that was the third one, so there was three. Okay, so one, two, three, we've got them all. Lovely. Now, I need to look, maybe, what time of day is it? 5.08, so I might look at the saturation for near sunset. Seems very bright to me. 
I might look, I'll look at that when I'm out of the game. So let's go back up to Dover Halls. Sorry, folks, let's get back to where we were. And the key for Dover Halls is in two locations. Under the bridge in the water. Or an easier key, because again, people were, you know, never found it. So I made it nice and simple for them. TPRC used to be a much harder challenge back in the day. But um, people complained so much. I got, just got tired of answering questions because people couldn't find the keys. So I just put them in easy locations. Um, again, because TPOC, like all my work, was supposed to be a, to get you to re-explore, look around, and have an adventure. But a lot of people just don't want that. So, okay. So here's the interiors then, or the interior. There's an exit to Windhelm, which we'll take in a minute. Okay. Weapons racks. Again, very simple. I, I don't do fancy house builds. Practical, simple, you know, house builds, or collection you know nicely lit I like this a lot now we're gonna pick up because all my skills because I because I cheated from the beginning of course um, what am I doing I got a level up but uh, let's just do this I suppose. if I go to um, I'm all uh, none of these I've advanced but I can already I'm already legendary and can I'm only level 18 as well because I cheated from the beginning you know um, so so I didn't have to play the game, you know, from the very beginning, work hard. I could just kill my enemies, have plenty of life and run around and show you the mod, you know, without taking days. And, and it would have been weeks or a week or so, you know, more of playing. Um, where's my sword? As you can see, <laughs> 530 damage, 30% uh, fire damage, you know, it kills them. In a matter of, well, one swing, basically. They like the sword as well. Wow, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Right, so. Um, so this is Dover Hawes, okay. Um, the bedroom is up there, sorry. Let's just show you the bedroom. Just a simple bedroom, okay. Again, simple crafting uh, amenities. And mannequins bookshelves everything you need just you know do and i've um edited this area okay because if you've got the, the you haven't got this version there's a bit of flickering now i've got to adjust i've just done some corrections to the floor here okay so um and i've changed the tree as well does that go well that's a good point obviously when i'm in the ck actually i like that the fact that it goes up through the roof i'm gonna leave that because i like that Penetrating the stone. I'm going to leave that. I like that. Oh, get out of town. Right, where are we? Right. So, um, yeah, you can pick up cheats here. You can use them or not. It's up to you, okay? Okay. Safe chests and all the rest of it. So, um, and this exit goes out to the reach again. Um, okay. Oh, that's, sorry, that goes to the House of the Voice. Yeah, sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong place. That's the House of the Voice is rifting. So that's a link to Riften, the Riften home. And then we come out um, here at Windhelm. So I've done the dragons. I'm coming out a minute to see if there's any. <laughs> well, mate, you know, at the end of the day, you can, if you're, I don't, I don't suppose you're using an EMB. Um, <laughs> but you know, again, you know, I like darker, you know, I've only l um, lightened up these interiors. If I want dark, I can go dark, you know, um, you see the difference. So again, with this preset that I'm working on and with other presets out there, there are quick and easy ways to adjust your values. And I think you can use, you can use an EMB with um enhanced lights and fx and realistic lights and overhaul and there's 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 emb's out there for those uh particular mods in fact let me give you um a nice example let's leave it there because that's where i would have it you see if you want a nice em if you want a good emb um secret lemonade drinker for um uh for enhanced lights and fx designed for enhanced lights and fx I know there's a patch for enhanced lights and FX, a newer patch, but you could try Rembrandt EMB. 
I used it for years. If you look at all my old videos, right, and if you look at all my old images, um, before this recent graphics card, I used Rembrandt, mixed up with a few changes to its settings for enhanced lights and effects. And I think that's, and it's an underrated EMB. It's probably only got a few hundred volts, but it's probably one of the best EMBs out there for enhanced, light and, enhanced lights and effects. It's called Rembrandt EMB, and it's a brilliant EMB. It's an old EMB, but it works with later versions, of course. There's no issues with that. Um, there might be some tweaking because of, like I say, I know there's an EMB patch or fix for, it's not EMB, sorry. There's an enhanced lights and FX fix mod out there, you know, that fixes up. Uh, so you could use that. I know I'm sure you use that, but you might just need to tweak things. So, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Try Rembrandt with enhanced lights and FX if you've never used it. Because I think it's a really good uh, EMB preset for enhanced lights and FX. Okay, so. But again, you know, it all comes down to personal taste. You know, I like darker interiors. But if you don't like darker interiors, you can easily lighten them up. And I'll keep them lit, well lit, for the purpose of this stream, all right? Just so you lot can see the detail and the work and what's going on here, okay? What have I got here that I can get rid of? Nice, pretty. Okay. Okay, so where to now? Um, hmm, where to now? What was I doing? What was I thinking of? I talked about the dragon spawns, which are important. Um, I showed you how, if you haven't been to an area, how they'll... Oh, that's it. I remember where we're going. So let's come out by... Um, Windtown. I want to show you the spawns that I was on about that are respawning that I need to take care of. And again, there's another home here which I'll just show you quickly. The, the People of Skyrim Complete is littered. That's nice. I just love that soft lighting in the background there. That, that's nice. Um, it's littered with homes. And actually, I can show you the vampire home, actually, while we're here. So we might as well do this. Then we'll, we'll come back out of here. And we'll go to... Um, White Run. Um, again, backstories. Okay. For the TPSC questing version. Now, I like this, right? Okay. Oh, what the hell's all this? What we got here? Multiple enemies. What's this? Alright, that's a bear there. Oh. Oh, let's 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 um I don't know what shout I've got. What shout have I got? Uh hold on folks. Nice. Oh. 
So we got a sprig in somewhere or something like it. Or what's going on here? I'm just trying to think what I added here. Oh, I oh, well, we'll see in a sec, I suppose. Let's just have a look what's going on. What are we missing? What am I missing? I'm going to save this. This is looking really nice. Ye fucking ha is what I say, man. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm not quite sure where my enemies are here. But anyway. Okay. Let's get... Uh, let's go back to what I was showing you. Okay. Um, I'll show you Dover ret Retreat. Okay. So this is Dover Retreat, which is just a copy of the Windhelm Inn, basically. Stripped back, and again, you know, making life easy on myself, and made for, uh, a, a, again, another player player home, if you're sort of Stormcloak based or whatever. Okay. Just very simple. You know, it's not complicated. That takes you to Pathway Cave. Home, that's another home. Okay. And this takes you to Ambrosia Vampire uh, Home. Let's just heal up. Love the texture qualities on the wood here. Now, if you're observing, and if you're interested, there's a good backstory here to Danbar, in his, which links into the enemy of my enemy, if you ever play that mod, all right? And that gives you a nice little backstory, okay? Of his history in this home. And how he's found out about what Ulfric is. This is Ambrosia Hall. You need a key, which is in Ambrosia. And we're going to go, you know, the wrong way around, sort of. You'd fight, you'd have to find Ambrosia Hall first, but I'm just going to show you, you know, what it is, okay? And this is a vampire home. And the key is in here for the door. And this would be the end of the maze, or end of the hall, yeah? Oh, shit. What am I doing? This would be the end of the hall. So I'm coming in reverse, because I'm, I've, I've obviously unlocked the door. I've cheated, you know, um, to get the key. So you'd come in via the waterfall. Okay. Whoa! Vampire! Right, well I've woken them all up now, so now I'm going to have a hell of a time. Here we go, I'll show you this. The, uh, these guys don't respawn, I'm quite sure. Your, your home's your home once it's done. This is where, where it really begins. And this is where my high-powered sword comes in handy. <laughs> so, of course, I'm cheating, folks, obviously. You know, and now they've all come from the hall. You know, I mean, because I... You know, they, they picked up on me. They, and they've just... They're just rushing me now. You know, so, um... I'm fucked. I would be fucked. You've, you've got to have some juice here to beat these lot. They're not easy. All right? Now that is, there's still some more to come, look, as you can see, all right? And that hall looks good. I don't know about you, but I like it. Anyone got any comments? Exactly, yeah, 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 okay. So I really, I like this interior, look, look, and I like Ambrosia Hall, that's, uh, it's nice. I like the depth of field on the interiors as well. I really dig my interiors. I, 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 I've shown my age. There we go. There's some more little surprises for you as well. So, you know. 
but that looks nice. I fucking love that, man. I'm, re I'm really, you know, turned on with that. <laughs> it's just, just, I don't know why he didn't come in and tap me. But anyway, never mind. I mean, oh, he might have a hold position. That's right. I might, he might have a holding um, a, um, a package on him. So he, he holds his ground. He holds his position. I know I did that with some of them. So that might be why he was there. Because I didn't want them all. Yeah, I should have done that with more, actually. Because then we would have more in the halls. Um... Okay, what's that there? I don't know what that is. Is that a... Oh, I know, that comes with... Her. That's the blood. That's blood, I think, on this surface. So, again, a couple of little things. But nothing major so far. So, the entrance to... to oh, there's another one. Nice. Another guy behind me. Nice. Okay, I enjoyed that actually. Fuck yeah, I really enjoyed that. Okay, right. So the entrance to this hall is here, um, and it's um, I can't remember the name of the waterfall, the great big waterfall. Um, I will come out and come in. I'll just save just in case because I want to go back to Danbar's house or you know Dover Retreat. I'll just show you where the entrance to this is if you don't know, but it's on the map. Okay. So this is the vampire home. Okay. And uh, those guys shouldn't or, or don't respawn. Okay. So here we are. Ambrosia Cra uh, Cave over from Iverstead. Um, Dragon's Breath home there. And Riverside Goods. Okay. So as you, as you can see, you know, TPOS, you know, has a hell of a lot going on. Um, and again, a lot of supportive homes if you want to use them. You don't have to. All you have to do is get the keys, you know, stuff like that. You don't have to use them early on. You can use them whenever you damn well want. Um, you know, you're not forced to use them. Yes, they're cheats, but they're only there if, if like I say, if, if you want to access them. Otherwise, just ignore the damn things until you're ready to use them. And the reason I say that is that so many people complain, you know, oh, I, oh you know, just can't be doing with it. You know, you can ignore it, can't you? It's easy enough. You know, I mean... Right, okay, so we're going to go back because um, I want to use the Talus because uh, I don't want to become a vampire. I can't stand fucking vampires, to be honest with you. Nor do I want to simulate being one. Right. Okay, so that's that. I've seen a little bit of flickering in this about. There, look, did you see it? There. Okay, so I'm going to do some candle edits here. But um, it might be something to do with the fire, actually. But anyway, that is this home. Um, we won't do Pathway Cave because that's going to... You can do that for yourself. But like I say, all the homes are link linked up to different homes and stuff like that. There's plenty of different homes. Um, and that's for you to explore and find. Okay. Right. So we're in night time now. So, I might have had a sprigging round here. I vaguely do remember doing that, but I'm a bit surprised because I thought, I'm quite sure I took her away because I thought, uh, in Windhelm, that doesn't make sense. And I think I took her away. I'm sure I did, but maybe I didn't. There's just so many little details, it's easy to forget. But I'll check that out. We're going to go to the cart now. And we're going to travel to Whiterun because I want to do the final test well, not the final test, but show you what I mean about these dragon spawns coming in. Because we're going to have two dragons spawn at the tower um, from an earlier spawn. And they shouldn't, so we need to sort that out. I need to sort that out in the TPOS file. But again, I like that tonight. Well, I say tonight, like I'm. It's night time now. And it's really dark. There's no um, aurora, you know, lights or anything. And the lights off the. You know, the rain's um, giving me a bit more light, I think, because of the cube map that's used. But um, otherwise, I quite like that too. So you maybe I'm, I'm getting there. Where do you want to go? <coughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, okay. Um. Climb and back and we'll be off. Okay. Outward. Okay. You ever 
So yeah, I mean, I guess I can't complain considering the amount of mods that I'm running. That's nice again, look. This early morning, I like that. Considering the, the amount of mods I'm running, um, and again, check the first video of this, of this streaming series to see that, um, and everything that's going on. We've had a very touch wood, very successful, very, and the light's breaking, starting to break. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, that's the windmill. Shit me, that's the windmill. Look at that, look. I love little touches like that. That's just fantastic. That's brilliant, man. And as the light was coming up, it passed through the sails, and the sails reflected on this fucking this structure here. That's brilliant. Just little moments. It's little moments like that. I really love, man. I tell you, I really love those sort of sorts of moments. Little things like that. Now there's those two dragons. All right, I'm just going to go forward for a bit more light. Okay, I'm going to save just in case. See, it's little things like that 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 really. I really, really like when you see things like that. Those sails are like, you know, in, a, in three or four different sails down, you know, and, and the light that's passed through those sails have just reflected onto the wood of, of the Lux Orb, um, Lux Fire, uh, or is it Orb, it's one or the other, um, structure outside of White Run there. That's fantastic. That's brilliant. Thanks, secret lemonade drinker. I appreciate that. What time is that? Oh, let me just see the time because I've got lunch coming up soon. My lady is doing lunch, so um, yeah, it's quarter two. So I'm gonna have to finish very soon, folks. All right, an earlier an, an earlier uh, a shorter stream today. Getting tired anyway. Um, let's deal with these two. Um, and I like the exterior at the moment. I've I've worked on the exterior this morning. I made a few changes. It just feels a little bit nicer for my liking. Let's get Dragon Wren, because I've got that. Um, I'm sure they're going to land anyway, but let's just... Where are they? Oh, it's going to land anyway. Look at that. Look. Oh, and he's landed as well. So that's good. Dead Dragon. Dead Dragon. One hit. But then, you know, when you're, when you're swinging a sword with 566 points, I mean... <laughs> Come on. Oh, I did get him. Look at that. I'd be buggered. Come on. Give me a nice death scene. Oh. Yes. Here we go. Go on. 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 Oh, bloody wing got in the way. So they shouldn't have respawned, right? They really shouldn't have. So I need to resolve that little issue. Sorry about that. Bloody amateurs, eh? Okay. Let's, um, what should we do now? Now, so I've made the point about dragon spawns. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, what we're going to do next. I'm now going to show you um, some more challenges that uh, TPOS um, holds. Um, we're going to go and do Fort Peak. We're going to do Fort Peak. We're going to go to the House of Zell. Um, I'm going to go to, before I go, I'm going to do one more thing, okay? As I said, if you haven't been to areas, right, um, and you finish the main quest of, of the Dragonborn, you know, with Alduin, you've killed Alduin, and you haven't been to um, an area, um, then you're going to have multiple spawns. Now, White Run down. Now, I want to test this, and I left this deliberately because I wanted to test this to see how the area in a stream reacts with all these dragons spawning. Because if I can stream, run all this with these dragons spawning and not get no complication, and we're going to have bandits as well, right? Then you should have no problems at all. I've never had problems in, out of stream. I've never had problems in stream. But this setup is a new setup, so I'm going to I'm putting this system under pressure. So I'm just going to take a breather here. And we're going to see how this um, system and this mod. And all that I'm running is now going to cope. Let's run at a, f a fair pace and save some stamina. Let's draw my sword because I know what's coming. Let's uh, let's help myself here. Here we go. Now, if I'm right, now hopefully I'm right. 
Right, well, we should now have bandits, if I've completed. Perhaps I'm, there's the dragons. I thought there should be some bandits here. Or have I already spawned them? I don't know. I'll have to check the spawn. I thought the bandits would have spawned. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I'm sure, or is... Oh, it might be up there. Okay, all right. Um, oh, let's just deal with him. So we've got a... We've got a... We've got a um, blood dragon, sorry. We've got... Oh, that's a knife. Changed me shout, haven't I? Um, we've got an elder dragon. He landed the dragon, so that was good. Um, we've got an elder dragon. Let's just go to... What am I looking for, folks? Uh, dragon man. What time of day is it? I can't look at the time, can I? Oh, he's going to land anyway, is he? No? Okay, well, let's, let's bring him down. Oh, I can't... Oh, man. My shout's recharging, isn't it? Oh, God, I hate these things. Christ, I've got to watch my health. I'm getting a battle in here. Right, where's he to? Can't see Soddle. Right, okay, he's decided to come down anyway, so that's nice. That reassures me, because like I said, this is a heavy area, look. Um, it is a heavy area with... Oh, let's just collect his soul. It's a heavy area with, the, with all the dragons, or, you know, the settlement and everything else. Now... At what stage does, does that bandit spawn, spawn on this bridge? I've got a bandit spawn here. It's about six bandits. And the reason I did six is, or five or something like that is because I've got the settlement there with some dudes that can help deal with them. Um, but they didn't... Maybe it must be later on then. I, I've obviously set it for, for another stage, which is wise, really, I guess, because if you had those as well with the dragons, it might be a bit too much for, much, for some people's systems. So anyway, so we'll come back to that, and at some stage, hopefully, we'll see a, a bandit spawn on this bridge. Okay, so let's um, now run through and um, deal with this dragon. Gonna land anyway, I think, or at least he's gonna give me an opportunity to shoot. He's gone, he's down and out. Okay. Love these this this 3D ropes in brilliant. Brilliant fucking mod. Love this mod man. Really do. Where did he land to? Let's take his soul. Where soul, where is he? Oh, he's there. It's really dead then? No, it's just laying down for the head of it. <laughs> I'll come out, folks, see if there's any questions. Ah, uh, yes, there's those as well, mate. We haven't been to those on... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I take it you've been to Fort Peak then. Okay, so, right. So, um, yeah, there's bandits on the bridge above going towards Riverwood. You're right, we'll go and see those, look. But there's also some bandits... Um, on this bridge here and, and I'm, I can't remember the spawn for them so anyway you know oh and also there's more backstories in go to be found here all right I mean again there's little touches everywhere oh and there is one thing I want to do just before I finish up I want to explore the glass gla I've got a glass mod loaded up transparent glass and uh, um, how uh, I can hear the oven for lunches on so I've got a lot of time so um, 10 minutes I've got 10 minutes I've just been informed so I'm gonna have to finish in 10 um, so again you know I like this far brighter so uh, darker I mean sorry interiors oh it is bright oh that's oh no that's right wrong way around okay so I like it darker I like it like this that's lovely for me but anyway hmm? what do you have for sale take a look right what I want here I just want to check out the glass. Oh, all of those. It's really nice in this interior again as well. I really do like my these bloody interiors. This mashup may never be released, I don't know, but for me it will be in my play gameplay because the interiors are lovely. 
Um, we'll just do the bow and arrow as well. Um, do that, do that, do that. Okay. All right, I like the reflection on that glass. Let's take off that stupid cloak. Sorry, it's not a stupid cloak. It's not fair to say that's a good mod, but you know what I mean. I just don't want it on when I'm... Uh, let's take that off and let's exp oh, and take the backpack off as well. Ah, uh, and uh, that's a shame. It's poking through. Um, let's get rid of the sword a minute. Oh, right. uh, what's that? What's just happened there? Glass arrow, thank you. Okay, let's have a look in the, in the light then, the daylight for this um, reflection. Let's see how things are. All right, I can dig that. Yeah. Yeah, sorry folks, child of the 60s, you know. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get up to this bridge and see this spawn, okay? Oh, my leg. Definitely going to have to stop in a minute, and then we'll call it a day. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next stream. I'm not going to do a second stream today. I actually found that a bit much yesterday. Um, yeah, so, I'm, I'll, you know, I, sorry, I won't. Sorry, it's the weekend. I've just realised it's the weekend. So I will see you all next week, okay? Um, coming to the end of this stream now. We'll just go and see this little bridge that I've added up here. And there used to be a portal years ago. That was the point of this little bridge. Um, but uh, I removed it because it caused, um, it confused people, so. Now ain't this a surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. Woo. Yes. What's left? Come on. You think you're big enough to take me on? Come on. Yep, missed him. He's doing well. Unlucky. What's left? In the water, I guess. There he is. Oh, he's going to get washed downstream, isn't he? That was good, though. Well, folks, there you go. What can I say to that? Where is he? Let's see if I can find him with an arrow. No, he's stuck, maybe. Is he stuck? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is the highway, then? Ah, yeah, he's stuck in the current. Why is that not a surprise? Okay, because, you know, I can just imagine the game fucking up there. Okay, so that was fun, and that's a nice place to end. Okay, lovely jubbly. Let's, again, I want my glass out. I think that's got something to do with what you, the what you call it mod. Um, I'm actually just going to change up. just wanted to check that out. Actually, I might, no, I like my, I like my other arm. I like this, to be honest with you. Have the cloak back. Items, cloak, 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 cloak. I've got to hurry up. Storm. Let's stick that one on. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, folks. All right, everyone. Um, we're going really well. Touchwood. Seem to be going very, very well. Um, and you too, Secret Lemonade Drinker. And thanks for constantly popping in, mate. You know, you're sharing a lot of time with me. I appreciate it. It's nice to have someone in the stream. You know, um, just, you know, so it, it can 
when you're streaming for no one it just seems a bit pointless people might come and watch it later but you know I could just do a recorded um, video really so it's nice to have someone here and for anyone else that's joined me thank you very much I hope you like what you see right it is the weekend now we're coming into the weekend so there won't be any streams oh actually hold on let me take it back actually we're back at school things have changed I might have a stream on Saturday no guarantees but I might do a stream Saturday we'll see because um, my missus might be out with a boy it, family so yeah I might have a stream this weekend we'll see but regardless whatever mm. thanks for joining me everyone um, I was an enjoyable stream I've got some work to do on TPSC just some little touch uh, touching up to do with the dragons lights few other things but there's been nothing major we'll carry on exploring this this uh, load order this mob pack and very soon I'm getting close to feeling I can release this mob pack I want to do some more tests first though and then we'll go from there okay so um you all have a great weekend i may see you over the weekend if not next week i'm nesbitt you're the people of skyrim good gaming folks mm -hmm.